my channel and welcome to the first episode of Understanding the Mass. This series will be based on Edward Shree's book, A Biblical Walk Through the Mass, Understanding What We Say and Do in the Liturgy, published by Ascension Press. The first step to understanding the Mass is to define what it is. The Mass is the celebration of the Eucharist that Jesus instituted at the Last Supper when he said to his apostles, Do this in memory of me. Now that's Luke 22, 19. There are three key aspects of the Eucharist. One, the Eucharist as a memorial of Christ's sacrifice on the cross. Two, the Eucharist is the real presence of Jesus. Three, the Eucharist as holy communion with our Lord. As the Catechism of the Catholic Church teaches, in the divine sacrifice, which is celebrated in the Mass, the same Christ who offered himself in a bloody manner on the altar of the cross is contained and offered in an unbloody manner. The Catholic Church teaches that Christ is uniquely present in the Eucharist. The Eucharist is the body and blood, soul and divinity of Jesus Christ. The Eucharist is not just a symbol or reminder of Jesus but through transubstantiation, a change takes place. Saint Cyril of Jerusalem said, do not see in the bread and wine merely natural elements because the Lord has expressly said that they are his body and his blood. Faith assures you of this, though your senses suggest otherwise. Jesus is the divine Son of God who became flesh and dwelt among us. He is Emmanuel, which means God with us, and he desires to remain close to us in his sacramental presence, in the Eucharist, in every Mass celebrated throughout the world. Let's never take this for granted. In every Catholic Church, we have a sacred space called the Tabernacle. We should acknowledge this special place by genuflecting, making the sign of the cross, or bowing as an expression of adoring our Lord in the tabernacle. We should take time in adoration before the Blessed Sacrament, reflecting and meditating on the greatness of his love. This is the place to sit in silence, to bring everything to him and have that conversation with God. John Paul II wrote, Jesus awaits us in the sacrament of love. Let us not refuse the time to go meet him in adoration, in contemplation full of faith. Let our adoration never cease. When we read the New Testament, we see Jesus revealed as the Passover lamb, sacrificed on Calvary for our sins. In the Passover, as in other Jewish sacrificial rites, it is not enough to kill the sacrificial lamb. Eating the animal at a communion meal followed the sacrifice. The shared meal sealed the covenant and forged communion between participants and God. The Catholic Church recognizes Holy Communion as the climax of Eucharist worship. As the Catechism explains, the celebration of the Eucharist sacrifice is wholly directed toward the intimate union of the faithful with Christ through communion. To receive communion is to receive Christ himself who has offered himself for us. I love this quote from St. Leo the Great regarding the Eucharist. He said, Nothing else is aimed at in our partaking of the body and blood of Christ than that we change into what we consume. 
and ever bear in spirit and flesh in him whom we have died, been buried, and have risen. I hope you have enjoyed this first episode. Stay tuned for my next video, which will begin to break down the Mass and hopefully bring clarity and new meaning to our beautiful Catholic liturgy. Please subscribe to my channel and leave your comments below about the Mass and any questions you may have about why we do what we do. Thanks for watching and peace be with you.